fact, Daybreak is all local all morning. It's Saturday, so we usually highlight one local company with our partners at Indiana Grown, but today we have a special treat getting to highlight the whole organization and its parent organization, the State Department of Agriculture. Bruce Kettler is with me now. We're glad you're here today. Thanks, Brenna. We love the Indiana Grown program. We've had so much fun featuring businesses, and that's something that you get to do on the daily. Yes. It, you know, Indiana Grown is a great program. It's a huge success story, quite frankly. We're in our sixth year. Mm and uh, nearly 2,000 members in Indiana Grown. Wow. It's a free program, but they do have to apply to be part of it. So there are some standards to meet mm -hmm. to make sure that the products are grown or produced, processed uh, in Indiana, packaged in some cases to be able to do that. So there are some standards to it, and I think there's some value in that in the program. So mm -hmm. when people do see the logo, they know that there are quality products affiliated with it. And some folks might not know that that Indiana Grown logo is this organization. I say that because I was one of those people as a young teenager growing up in Indiana. Didn't I just saw the Indiana Grown label on things and didn't really know what that meant until I went to the state fair in the Purdue Ag Barn. There was this big Indiana Grown display. It looked like a marketplace and it just hit me. Oh my gosh, all these businesses right. are working together uh, and and that's how I knew that Indiana Grown was even a thing. Yeah, the Indiana Grown marketplace has been again very very successful. We're in our fourth year there, and and the products that are displayed, we have a lot of people that want to come see it. Uh, when you look at the amount of products that we have, in fact, this year we're going to the store will be slightly larger. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, it's in the Ag Hort building. Uh, and if people come to the State Fair aren't exactly sure where that is, it's right next to the Midway. That's the best way to, to kind of look for it. And, and the, and the uh, cheese curd stand, that's the it, other way. I that usually is there, exactly. It's usually right outside the Absolutely. front door. <laughs> yeah. So we're excited because uh, the, we're really able to feature a lot of great products. And mm -hmm. it's a really a wide variety of products, too, more importantly. You mentioned that it's bigger this year. Any yeah. other changes folks should know about if they're going to head out this yeah, year? Yeah, so one of the changes, we, we've had a cooking stage or demonstration. Oh, yeah. stage behind uh, we've had some the ability to be able to sample products particularly some food and mm -hmm. maybe drink because of COVID regulations we weren't able to do that this year okay. that both the cooking stage and the and the sampling but we have added something which I think is going to be really important we're adding uh, the opportunity for demonstrations from artisans so people maybe that are using fibers to spin yarn oh. uh, candle makers so not got food tea blenders creators. because we couldn't do that because of COVID when we had to organize this we kind of switched and went toward the artisan route mm. And I think that's going to be neat because it'll be educational for people as well. And I feel like people are going to want to see that in years in the future, too. Even when the food part comes back, so. they'll say, but where was that lady with the alpaca yarn? We, we loved her. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And one thing that's great, too, is that all those products are on your website. So folks who maybe can't make it to the state fair or they get there and they get overwhelmed and they just want to buy everything <laughs> and they can't. Um, I know uh, it's all listed on your website as well. It is. And there's an opportunity for people to even connect directly with Indiana Grown members through the website they can even order and purchase that was a switch we made when COVID happened mm -hmm. and we had to make some adjustments and the ability for people to be able to get products either delivered or shipped to them directly was one that was made and some of our Indiana Grown members have done that very successfully for some folks it's like Christmas in July then in August getting yeah. in the State Fair and just getting buckets full of Indiana Grown products to give out as gifts. Bruce, thank you for sharing what's happening thank at you. the State Fair with Indiana Grown. We'll have this on our website, wishtv.com, for folks who want to watch it again and share it.